Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurmai Sarah binti Azmi from DIA 6A. My ID number is PDA 1805010. Today I want to present about our assignment which is the presentation of financial statements for the subject of financial statement analysis. Okay, for the first one, we proceed with the accounting policies concepts. Accounting policies are internal policies which is the procedure that was implemented by the company. These accounting policies were used by the company to prepare the financial statements. For the application, we choose two companies which is United Melaka Berhad and IJM Plantation Berhad. For the United Melaka Berhad, all the property, land and equipment are stayed at cost, net of accumulated depreciation or accumulated impairment loss. For the IJM Plantation Berhad, all the property, land and equipment are stayed at cost or value less accumulated depreciation and cumulative impairment except for non-depreciated capital work in progress. For the other pro uh, for the United Melaka Berhad, the other property was depreciated using straight line basis over the estimate useful life of the asset. And for the IJM Plantation Berhad, the other property, plant and equipment were depreciated on a straight line basis. For United Melaka Berhad, the capital work in progress was not depreciated yet as it is not available to use yet. And for the IJM Plantations Berhad, the capital work in progress is not ready for use yet, so it also not depreciate. And for the United Melaka Berhad, the inventories was include stocks, nursery stocks, estate and palm oil stores. For the IJM Plantation Berhad, the inventories shall be de declared at a lower cost and net realizable value. My name is Nurul Shafani Binti Sarifuddin. I'm from DIA 6A. Um, my ID number is PDA 1805006. Okay, let's proceed with the accounting basis. Uh, the basis of accounting refers to the method of to the method used with revenue and expenses are recognized in the financial statement of the company. There are two examples of the basis accounting, which are cash basis accounting and also accrual basis accounting. What is cash basis accounting and also accrual basis accounting? Cash basis accounting is a company that recognizes revenue when cash is received and expenses when bills are paid. This approach to a to recording the transaction and it is widely widely used by small companies and small firms. For accrual basis is a business recognized revenue when earned and expenses when expenditure are consumed. This approach requires a knowledge of accounting since accrual must be recorded at, re at regular discontinuity. Next is application of cash basis for United Malacca Berhad Company, uh, sales of plantation and upstream manufacturing, and dividend income. Dividend income is uh, recognized when the group's right to receive payment is established, while for IJM Plantation Berhad Company, sales of fresh fruit branch and crud palm oil and palm kernel. For, and also road tool collection. Road tool collection is recognized when the group's right to receive payment is established and dividend income is recognized when the group's right to receive payment is established. For the application of accrual basis is United Malaka Bahak Company apply interest income, rental income and also management fee service. For IJM Plantation Berhad Company uh, they apply the rendering of service, rental income, and also um, interest income. Okay, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurzara Fadila Binti Beta. My ID number is PDA 1805 and 140. Okay, the first one is accounting estimate. 
Accounting estimate approximates the amount to be debited or credited an item for which no precise means of measurement are available. Uh, they are based on specialized knowledge and judgment derived from experience and training. Uh, mostly, these accounting estimates are used in the financial statements to determine the carrying amount of assets and liabilities and the associated income or expense for the period where such amounts cannot be measured with precision and certainty. We look about the example of estimate. We have bad debt, depreciation, useful life of non-current asset. The three, the three one is the most popular on the estimate. Okay, for the application, they apply an accounting estimate for both company that we choose, which is United Malaka Berhad and IJM Plantation Berhad. Okay, for the first one is the impayment of non-financial assets. For the United Malaka Berhad, an impayment is recognized for the amount by which the carrying value of the of the asset excess its recovered amount. Uh, for the purpose of assessing of impairment, assets are grouped at the lowest level for which these are separately identif identifiable cash flow, CGU. And for the IJM Plantation perhaps, an entity should also test goodwill acquired in a business combination for impairment annually. For the depreciation, both of the company use straight line basis. And the last one is useful life of non-current assets. Uh, for the United Malacca Berhad, it is based on years, uh, which is plantation infrastructure, this whole land, and also the burial plant. For the IJM, uh, it is based on annual rent, building 2% to 5%, plant and machinery 5% to 10%, office equipment, furniture and fitting 5% to 25%, and last one is motor vehicle, tractor, trailer, and boats. Next is MF MFRS 101, Presentation of Financial Statement. Uh, the scope is an entity shall apply this standard in preparing and presenting general purpose financial statement in accordance with Malaysian financial reporting standard. A complete set of financial statements uh, comprise a statement of financial position at the end of the period, a statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income, a statement of changes in equity, a statement of cash flow, notes comprising significant account policies and other explanatory information, uh, comparative information in respect of the preceding period as specific in paragraph 38 and 38a, uh, and the last one is a, st a statement of financial position as at beginning of the preceding period. For the measurement is going concern and also accrual basis of accounting, for going concern when planning financial report, administration will make an assessment of substance capacity to proceed. For April basis of accounting, a substance will set up its financial summaries, exclude for income data or cash flow. For recognition is the measurement basis used in preparing the financial statement. The other accounting policies used that are relevant to an understanding of the financial statement. For application and compliance of MFRS 101, financial statement position for company of United Malaka Berhad, they are consists of non-current asset and also non-current asset, current asset, equity, non-current liability and also current liability. For IJM Plantation Berhad, Berhad uh, consists of non-current asset, current asset, equity, non-current liability, and current liability. For statement of comprehensive income, consists of revenue and expenses of the company to find the net profit or loss for the current year for the United Malaka Berhad Company. For IJM Plantation Berhad Company, they consists of revenue and expenses of the company to find the net profit or loss for the current for the for the current year. For the next application is statement of changes in equity. 
United Malaka Berhad Company, they consist of non-distributable item and distributable item, profit of the comprehensive income for the financial year and also changes in equity and dividend. For IJM Plantation Berhad, statement of changes in equity is they are consist of non-distributable item and distributable item, opening balance, loss of the comprehensive income for the financial year and dividend. For next, for next application is statement of cash flow. I, United Malaka Berhad Company consists of cash flow from operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities. For IJM Plantation Berhad, they consist of cash flow from operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities also. Uh, for the last one is not to the financial statement. For United Malaka Berhad Company, they consist of additional information of the company such as general information of the company, basis of preparation of financial statement, significant accounting policy and changes in accounting policies that are used by the company. For IJM Plantation Berhad, they consist of additional information of the company such as general information of the company, basis of preparation of financial statement, significant accounting policies and changes in accounting policies that are used by the company. Next, we go to the MFRS 133, which is earning per share for the scope, the separate or individual financial statements of an entity, the second one is the consolidated financial statements of group with a parent. For the measurement of MFRS 133, the company shall measure the basic earnings per share for the profit or loss attri attributable to the ordinary equity holders of the parent entry and its reporting, the profit or loss attributable to those equity holders from continuing operations. For the recognition, two recommend criteria for assessing and presenting earnings per share in order to improve comparisons of results between different entities during the same reporting period and between different reporting periods for the same entity, while earnings per share data are restricted due to the different accounting policies that can be used to calculate the earnings, a consistently identified denominator improves by the financial reporting. For the disclosure of MFRS 133, the calculation shall include the results of each class of instruments affecting the earnings per share, a summary of ordinary share transactions or potential ordinary share transactions, other, the, other those accounted for under paragraph 64 that occur after the balance sheet that and would, that and would have significantly change the number of ordinary shares or potential unpaid ordinary shares at the end of the reporting period if those transactions had taken place before the end of the reporting period. For the application of MFRS 133 for the company that we choose which is United Melaka Berhad and IJM Plantation Berhad. For the United Melaka Berhad, the basic loss or earnings per share for the financial year should be calculated by dividing the net the net loss or profit category attributable to the company's owner for the financial year by the weighted average number of common shares at issue during the financial year. For the IJM plantations berhad, the first one is basic loss or earnings per share, which is the calculation of basic loss or earnings per share are by dividing loss or profit of tax for the year attributable to the owner of the company by the weighted average number of ordinary shares in issues during the financial year. The second one is diluted loss or earnings per share. The, the share options issued under ESOS could theoretically 
the due the basic loss or earnings per share but were not included in the diluted loss or earnings per share calculation because they are anti dilutive consequently both the simple loss or earnings per share and the diluted loss or earnings per party share are the same Okay, next one we move to the MFRS 102 inventories for the scope is this standard applies to all inventories except financial instrument and the biological asset related to agricultural activity and agricultural produce at the point of harvest. As we can see, for the agriculture, they, all, they have their own MFRS, which is MFRS 141 for the agriculture. Uh, next, this standard does not supply to the measurement of inventories held by when such inventories are measured at net reasonable value, changes in that value are recognized in profit or loss in the period out of change. And commodity broker traders will measure their inventories at fair value less cost to sell. Uh, the measurement. Inventories should be measured at the lower of cost and net realizable value. The cost of inventories shall comprise all cost of purchase, cost of conversion, and other costs incurred in bringing the inventories to their present location and condition. We just mean there are two types of costs in the measurement, which one cost of purchase, cost of conversion, and other costs incurred. Uh, third, recognition. When inventories are sold, the carrying amount of those inventories shall be recognized as an expense in the period in which the related revenue is recognized. Fourth, disclosure. First one is the accounting policies adopted in measuring inventories including the cost formula use. The total carrying amount of inventories and the carrying amount in classification appropriate to the, to the entity. C. The carrying amount of inventories carried at fair value loss less cost to sell. For the last one, the application and compliance for the IGM Plantation Berhad and United Malacca Berhad. For the first one, uh, both of the company use the cost of inventory they determine on a weighted average basis. They use the weighted average basis. Next, inventories are stated at the lower of cost and net realizable value. Uh, same also to the United Malacca Berhad, they also stated a stated value at the lower of cost and net realizable value. And for the last one is uh, the type of inventory of the IJM plantation. Uh, they have farm and farm oil product and also consumable. But for the United Malacca Berhad, there are three types of inventories, which is produce stocks, nursery stocks, also palm oil, meal stores. That's all from us. Thank you.